futuristic set of wheels that looks like it was driven straight out of a scene from Tron. This is the Siwa. Created by Lit Motors, this working prototype is full of kinks, yet it's an undeniable head turner. So is it a motorcycle or a car? Refusing to pigeonhole his brainchild, founder Daniel Kim says, both. I know what you're thinking. A motorcycle that can't be tipped? How is that possible? The C-1 uses the very same technology that's used in the International Space Station and the Hubble Space Telescope, gyroscopes. With two gyros, one for redundancy, the C-1 puts out over 1,700 newton meters of torque, so it can withstand much more than feeble reporters who skip gym workouts. So we hooked it up to an SUV and um, basically test to see if it would fall over in uh, simulating a collision, um, and it didn't. Drivers will need a motorcycle license. Since it's intended to always be stable, though, there shouldn't be any learning curve for the C1. And so-called landing gear keeps the vehicle upright when parked. After being denied a test drive by protective engineers, I settled for sitting behind the wheel. So the first thing I noticed, it's actually pretty roomy inside. I'm not the tallest person on the planet, but I've got plenty of room here. Back here, you notice all these electronics? They're for stability control. They'll be shrunken down to about this size, Danny tells me, and they'll go somewhere up here. Not quite production ready, but the company has time to polish and perfect before its 2014 shipping goal. It'll cost $24,000 initially, but the startup expects that to drop if they can reach scale to $12,000 in the U.S. and $5,000 in Asia thanks to cheaper manufacturing. Almost everyone I spoke to, from future customers to car tech experts, agreed. The cool factor seals the deal. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe.